Uh, oh, I'm going on holiday. Ah, OK. So I'm away completely. So, but if you're not going away and leaving these shores, and lots of attractions out there, Jackie Cablo is at Britain's biggest garden centre to do the hard work, and Mad Arnold is one of the country's most visited theme parks. So let's go to Jackie shot, first of all. Now, what's the nation likely to be buying this weekend? What's the popular choice? Well, Kate, we're going to be spending millions, that's for sure. The British garden centre industry is worth a staggering billion pounds a year. And this weekend, with all the lovely weather, well, everyone is apparently going to be flocking to their local garden centre. Now, I am, as you said, at the UK's biggest, which is just outside Atherston in Warwickshire. And they're expecting a bumper weekend, as are garden centres around the country. So what are we going to be spending our money on? Well, 67% of us have got one of these, greenhouses. So lots of these are going to be going out of the shops this weekend. Closely followed by garden furniture, 59% of us buy this. So we're expecting to sell lots of sets of this over the weekend. Sheds are still very popular. 55% of us have sheds. Men particularly like to hide away in sheds. And, uh, oh, look, there's one in here. Hello, Steve. I wonder where our sound man had gone. 50% uh, of us buy bird baths and bird tables. Only 17% of us will buy a barbecue, though, which I find quite surprising, but maybe it's a little bit early in the year. And not so surprising, 3.4% of us now only have garden gnomes. They have gone down in popularity over the years. The experts say they're being replaced by prettier things, ceramic things like these little toadstools walking out of garden centres around the country, and they are quite pretty. Of course, there's all the grotty jobs to do as well. Weeding is our most hated pastime. It's also the most the biggest job that people are going to have to do this weekend. So if you buy some gloves and some knee pads, that'll be slightly less painful. As for flowers, well, our tastes in flowers really haven't changed much over the years. We're still buying the traditional flowers. 50% of our gardens have roses, and we still like things like night-scented stock and nasturtiums. A little word of caution. 400,000 of us will get injured in the garden over, over the course of a year, particularly on these things. 2,000 of us get these poked in our eyes. So to be safe, Go out and buy yourself this weekend if you buy nothing else. Some of these little caps for your bamboo canes and they'll stop you getting eye injuries. Whatever you do, have a great time in the garden. It's going to be lovely. I'm certainly going to be out there this weekend. Back to you. Okay. Thanks very much, Jackie. OK, well, Jackie's in the garden centre. We can cross to Matt Arnold now. He's at Flamingo Land Theme Park and Zoo enjoying the...